Hi, welcome to the Redshift for Houdini instancing beginner tutorial. Over on the create shelf, let's create a sphere. So how does instancing work? Let's create an instance object node and see. If we dive down inside, by, de by default, the instancing node has an add node that creates one point. Okay. So what instancing does is it looks at an object node and looks for certain attributes to determine if it should instance object, objects there or render the geometry inside of a node. If we hop back up, let's set up an instance. We'll drag our sphere object onto the instance object and turn on fast point instancing. Right now it doesn't look like anything has happened because there's only one point. Let's create some more points. Drop a grid node and select and delete the at top. So, wow, that looks weird. I got a grid, I got a sphere there. That's, that's not expected. Well, that's because of the level that we're at inside of our um, hierarchy here. If we go up one level, we see that we've actually instanced the sphere onto the points of the grid. That's really weird. Let's go back down the side of this instance node and see what we can see what's going on here. So now, huh, there's only the bounding area of the grid. This is really, really weird. But what's going on here is that what the instance node does is it takes all of the points no matter what geometry is inside of this instance node, no matter what that geometry is, it's going to only look at the points inside of this node and instance this instance object onto them. Let's take a look at that. If we look at this grid. This grid has 100 points, some primitives, vertices, and 81 polygons. For the purposes of instancing, we don't need all of this extra information because the only thing that instancing needs is points. Okay, well, let's prove that. If we take our grid and change it to just create points for us, see now we only have points. If we hop back up one level, we still have the same instancing. Okay, so why can't we see the instances when we're down inside of the instance node? That's because of the, the viewport level. Because the, the viewport right now is saying render render at the instance object level here and it that's not supported right now so what you do is if you go up the top level and you lock the viewport at this level so even though so the viewport is at object level and then in the network uh, view we can still dive down inside of of object nodes and the instancing of the viewport will still work so let's prove that let's change the number of rows here so if we change the number of rows What's, what that's doing is changing the number of points. So now we only have 25. And because our viewport is locked at the object level, we get to see that in, in the viewport. We change that back to 10. Pop up and go to our redshift shelf and start the render view. And see, we get the exact same representation in our viewport inside of redshift. And if we go and change the number of points, shift updates as well. Okay. Back to our default. And that concludes the Redshift for Houdini instancing beginner tutorial. See you next time.